guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. I just couldn't get myself to put on any makeup. And especially today, I literally think I cried like five times. And all I want to do is play Animal Crossing all day. But I'll tell you guys why in a second. But the good news, I am opening my dance store today, Friday, May 1st. Hopefully this is uploaded. <laughs> But yes, I'm so, so excited. I am selling my homemade skirts on Depop. And I was going to do an Etsy store and all that stuff. But I'll get into that. I'll explain to you later if you guys want to hear it. But yes, I'm doing Depop. I've been selling on Depop for a while. So I created a new account and I'm just going to do Depop. It's super easy and it doesn't give me any trouble. So yeah, it's not ideal. It's obviously not as personalized and stuff like that, but I'm hoping to grow. And once I turn 18, I can really just do a lot more stuff, have my own domain and like things like that. But if you guys are interested, I am gonna be making, I have so many ideas of dance clothing and I'm so excited to finally try it out and make stuff but yes uh i'm going to be doing a little tutorial i'm not going to be doing a whole tutorial but just on how i make my skirts because i know a lot of you guys are like how do you make these skirts how do you um if you don't care about what i'm gonna ramble on right now um go to the timestamp here okay but if you guys care about my problems if you're staying here you're the og as i said i was gonna do an etsy shop right so last night i was like okay i have to put in all my information about payment and stuff so little did I know that it was just gonna be a hassle and that basically I couldn't do it because literally people under the age of 18 can't really do anything. It's so annoying. Like I'm 18 in eight months. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Anyways, I literally couldn't make an Etsy account through my bank account and through like my name whatever. And nobody like nobody over 18 wanted to do it for me, so I was like, what the heck do I do? So I went on Shopify thinking it would be different. Anyways, here's the thing. I bought a domain name, all the stuff I started my trial. I like designed my website, everything. And I was like, I still have to be 18 for this too. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, you know what? And so I was just like really defeated. I didn't know what to do. So I'm just that was like, you know what, I'm just gonna level down to Depop. Not that Depop's bad, but it's just not, like, personalized, I guess. But, you know, it's okay. If my, if it grows and I want to continue to do it, then I'll have that option in eight months. So, it's okay. But yeah, that was my struggles today. Okay, now let's go into the video. Okay, so... I'm going to be making a pink skirt and this color is called Prima in my store and I'm going to be making a size small because that's a size I prefer on myself um, and you have to get a really stretchy material with a four-way stretch and I'm just f putting it on a fold and I had to straighten it out like for so long. So then I get my small pattern and that's where things get tricky. I made my patterns myself because I couldn't find anything on the internet. So I'm folding it in half and placing like the middle part on the fold of the fabric and then I'm just pinning that in so I can cut it out. And I'm just cutting it out with some sharp scissors and guys this part, once you unfo unfo unfold it, it's so satisfying. Yeah, and then see you unfold it and then it's like this perfect piece of fabric and that's the front part and then I also did the same for the back pattern um, and now I'm doing the waistband so I'm doing this on a fold as well so I'm measuring half of my waist and then I'm just marking it with some fabric chalk and then I'll just be cutting it out the same thing. So 
So, and then I'm putting the two right sides facing each other. And then I have to, like, line it up. And then I'll pin the two sides together so I can sew it. And I know a lot of times you have to do, like, seam allowance. But with stretchy materials like this, I feel like you can get away with not having a seam allowance. Okay, so then I hop over to my sewing machine and then I have to line it up perfectly. It's so hard with the stretch materials to sew on a sewing machine, but I'm just doing a back stitch and then I'm going to be using an overcast stitch. So it looks like this and I'm also using blue thread so you can see it and also I just didn't feel like re-threading my machine with pink thread. So yeah, but I think it actually looks kind of cute like the blue and the pink, they look cute together, you know. So then if you lay it out, it'll just look like this and then this is the part where I have to attach the waistband which is probably the most time consuming but I get used to it. So I'm just like folding it in half and pinning it. I just stabbed myself. So then I have to pin the waistband like all around that curve. So it's kind of hard, but I feel like I've gotten a lot better at it. And I try not to stretch the waistband at all because if I do, then the waistband loses its elasticity and then it doesn't like stretch as much. So then I actually lengthened or like made the width bigger for this stitch. So I'm still doing an overcast stitch and then I also have to pin in the size tag. And if you guys buy a skirt for me, most of them do not have size tags yet because I just started doing it. But yeah, um, so sorry about that. But some of them do have size tags. But yeah, I'm just sewing the size tag in. I've said size tag like 10 times already now. Also, in most of the other skirts that I made, um, the I was using an overcast stitch, but I wasn't overcasting it, so there's kind of like a raw hem, or like, no, a raw edge on the fabric, which, me as like a perfectionist about this stuff, I don't like it. I love overcasting it, so I'm definitely going to be doing this now instead of like not overcasting it. I'm just afraid that the, the machine will suck in the material, because that's never fun. So then you have most of your skirt made and then you just have to fold it in half so that the wrong side is facing outwards. And then I have to line up the two seams together. And guys, if I don't line them up perfectly, like I have to redo it. Like I cannot stand when they're not lined up perfectly. So I spend so much time making sure that the seams are lined up perfectly so I don't have to redo it and take out all the threads and stuff because I've been there and it's just not fun. But yeah, I have to make sure it's perfect. Then I'll just pin it together and then go to my sewing machine where I just do an overcast stitch. Yep.
And then I've made my skirt, but I'm not done yet. Um, but also look at the stitching. Like, it looks so good in my opinion. Wow. Proud of myself. Um, but now I have to take my... What is it called? An iron? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, an iron. Wait, I'm confused. And then this is my label. And I have iron on labels because I'm really not trying to sew them on. So, yeah, but it's fine. So I just take a piece of parchment paper and then I will iron it on for like 15 to 20 seconds. And I know it's uneven. I don't know why I made it uneven because I'm dumb. Okay. Okay, so my camera ran out of storage. I need to get a new SD card, but it's just one of those things. It's like, when it happens, you're like, oh, I need a new SD card, but then like, you never do it. Yeah, so that's how I make my skirts. Um, honestly, that one was like the most perfect one I've ever made, and I'm really proud of myself. Always improving, but yes, if you guys want a skirt, don't forget to check out my link in the description box. And they are very limited supply because I'm only one person, but I do have more fabric, so I'll probably, if they sell out, I'll restock them soon, but who knows if they'll sell out. I'm not, I'm not trying to predict that, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and then in the future, hopefully I'll be able to make leotards and everything like that because I have so many visions. Okay, yes. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Stay confident. Bye.